Chef Buck here, and today we're going to make us an Asian-style jicama salad. Now, if you've never used jicama before, it's an ugly old root that wants to pretend it's a fruit. It's got the look and the feel of a potato, but the taste and consistency similar to an apple. Now, to prepare it, you want to cut the ends off and then remove the skin with your knife. The skin is inedible, but inside you'll see that the root is white, sort of like a water chestnut. It's crisp and very popular in cold Asian dishes. It's usually used as a raw ingredient, you know, but I wouldn't eat it by itself. I mean, I'd rather have an apple. I've got a pretty small jicama here, so we're going to go ahead and cut up the entire thing into matchstick sizes about an inch in length. For a leafy green, I'm going to use Napa cabbage. I'm not going to use the whole thing. I don't need that much, so I'm just going to cut off the top and use that since that's the most delicate part to eat raw. Get it shredded up by hand into bite-sized pieces. Now you can substitute romaine or spinach if you'd rather. We're going to get some snow peas and slice those up. And snow peas add a lot to this dish. Now to punch up the color, we're going to go ahead and shred us a couple of carrots. Then we're going to take all four of these ingredients and throw them together, get them all mixed up. And then what you're going to wind up with is an extremely exciting bowl of raw vegetables. But wait, it's going to get more exciting because now we're gonna make the dressing. We're gonna combine a little wine vinegar, a little bit of soy sauce, some toasted sesame oil, honey for sweetness, and then some water. Lastly, I'm gonna put some sesame seeds in here. Now I got black sesame seeds here because that's what I got in the cabinet, but just use regular old sesame seeds because they're gonna taste the same. Get that all mixed up, and then we're gonna pour it over our raw vegetables. Now the dressing's pretty thin, but you want it to be thin because this is a light dish. And even though it seems a little watery, the jicama is going to absorb some of this water. And there you have it. A very simple and healthy jicama recipe to add a little Asian flair to any dinner. Bon appetit. Hear that crunch? Jicama is crunchy stuff. <laughs>